Hi guys, just did a little test run with my Breville, I think it's called a Panini Maker or something, or Panini Heater, I wouldn't know. I thought it was a toaster. Anyway, it's a hot plate and what I want to do with it is melt some plastic. those plastic bottle tops. Because I've seen lots of people do it and make interesting things with the melted plastic. I've just done a test run here. Got some grease-proof baking pa paper. I put uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine bottle tops there. It's still hot. Uh, but I just put, sandwiched it between the paper. So what I need to try and do now is see if I can open it. I just wanted to see what sort of temperature it needed to melt it, how this thing reacted, and it's very simple. Uh, when I switch it on, the red light comes on, and when it's got hot, the green light comes on. Nothing else to do, and that seemed to be enough to melt it quite uh, quite sufficiently. So it's still hot and that's obviously paper thin. Uh, I don't know if I can put it down on my worktop or do it outside. I suppose I ought to do it outside. I probably ought to wear gloves as well. But I just want to open it up and see what we've got. Apparently it warps when it cools down anyway, so you'd normally put it in some sort of metal or wood, no, wooden frame. And that's still hot to touch. I'll put the camera down and I'll just open that up and have a look at it. Oh, I can see now it's, now it's out in the cold. It's wrinkling up quite quickly and separating itself from the paper. So normally you'd put it in some sort of mould to hold it flat while it cools down. So there we go, that's my very first attempt at melting. I can't remember what type of plastic it's called, I'd have to look it up. Looks like the bottle tops weren't entirely clean because we've got some burnt black bits in there. I thought I'd washed them out quite well. Yeah, you can see that's curving up now as it's cooling down. And I've no idea what I could do with it. So I'll have to have a think. I suppose what I ought to do for the sake of the video is repeat what I've just done so we can watch what happens. Yeah, I can't quite think what I could use that for, but it certainly worked. Right, I'll repeat it so we can watch what I did. Right, we'll do this again. Ooh, got some purple ones there. The purple, a couple of red, I'm looking for ones that are reasonably clean, it looks like some of these haven't washed out very well, a couple of orange, Blue, two, four, six, eight. Better have some green as well. Aren't they? A couple of 
couple of green. Okay, that's what we'll do. I'm not cutting them up, I'm just putting them straight in like that. big bit of paper so I'll be able to fold it over because we don't want any to escape Okay, that's literally all I did, put them straight in there like that, and this is just to test the melting capabilities, it's not to actually make anything useful. Shut that down, switch it on, red light's on. I did do is I kept my finger on there because you could actually feel as it started melting this actually goes down obviously because it's crushing the bottle tops the noise in the background is the dishwasher running at the moment I'll put some link links in the video description to people who are doing this properly. There's one young lad who was doing some brilliant stuff with it. He was actually heating it in the oven though. Doing quite large amounts. And then taking it out and wearing gloves, folding it putting it back in again, heating it up, taking it out, folding it and so on to actually get a nice consistency and some interesting colour effects. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to see it but I can feel my finger is slowly going down. I'll probably get a bit of smoke rising in a while as the paper heats up. It must be just hot enough now because it's going down. I can feel it. We well, might be able to see it now. certainly see if I fast forward the video. A little bit of smoke coming up from the paper now. I just let it go until the green light came on, and then I switched it off and left it. But if you wanted interesting colour effects, you'd actually take it out and, wearing suitable gloves, fold it a few times and put it back in again. That's the green light's just come on. So 
I'm actually going to turn it off and leave it. And then come back later and see what we've got. When I say leave it, I'm only going to be working in the other room, so just in case it catches fire or anything. I've left this for about an hour to cool down. It's still hot to touch. And that's our melted bottle tops. That's still hot. So I will have to find something useful to do with it. So check out the video description, there'll be a link to... I've got a little playlist where I've got various other people who've done this and done useful things with it. I'm just happy to know that the general principle seems to work. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.